everyone, welcome back to lesson 11. My name is Olivia, the teacher for today, and in today's class, we'll be looking at learning about saying hello, how are you in different situations to different people. So first of all, saying hello is a very important vocabulary to learn and to use to respect people. And the hello in Korean can be used differently in matter of age. So here, in the first part, to older people, we say 안녕하세요, to respect each other. And the good response back will be 안녕하세요 too, saying hello, how are you? But to a friend or in the same age group or the people that you feel comfortable, you can always say hi, which means 안녕. And a good response back will be 안녕 too, saying hi. And when we say um, bye to older people, we say 안녕히 계세요 and 안녕히 가세요. And actually, there's two um, different ways to say this. So you have to say 안녕히 계세요 to those who are staying and 안녕히 가세요 to those who are leaving. So 계세요 means like 계세요 is for to those people who are staying, 가세요 is to those who are leaving. So um. Since I can't show the listen part of the audio, we'll be skipping this part, but we'll be doing the let's write part. So, first question. I'm not able to write with my pen right now. I don't know why, but sorry for that, but I'll be um, telling you the answers too. So. so, in the first part, the younger person is saying something to an older person. And what did I say that we need to do for that? 안녕하세요. Yeah, 안녕하세요 is like the word that you have to use to older people. When the younger people say, hello, how are you, to older people. Now, somebody is trying to leave the house. And the parents are saying, 안녕히 가세요. Saying goodbye to those who are leaving. And what does this two people have to say to say goodbye to those who are staying? Yes, it's 안녕히 계세요. 가세요 is for those who are leaving. 계세요 is for those who are staying. So, in third part, the teacher is asking the name. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? And what could Mira say? 저는 미라예요. Saying, I am Mira. And the fourth one. The same age group. The girl is asking the name for Stephen. What's your name? 이름이 뭐예요? And what could Stephen could say? 저는 스티븐이에요. 저는 미라예요. 저는 스티븐이에요. Like that. Now, let's go to the last talk part. In this part, you can do this with your friends or you can do this with me in this lesson. So, the teacher is saying, 안녕하세요. What should a little kid just say? Yes, 안녕하세요. Since he, the teacher is the older person and to respect to each other, you always have to say 안녕하세요 for 안녕하세요. Now, the second one, the friends are saying hi. What should this girl say to this boy? 안녕 too, which means hi. Since they're in the same age group, it doesn't matter if they say 안녕하세요 or 안녕. Now, the second, a third one, the boy's asking the name. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? What should the girl say? 저는 땡땡땡이에요. Put your name in 땡땡땡. So I could say 저는 올리비아예요. Like that. And the teacher is asking the name to the boy. What should this boy say? 이름이 뭐예요? 저는 땡땡땡이에요. You could put your name in here too. Say 저는 올리비아예요. Like that. Good. So... This is um, looking at the Korean culture of greeting others. So if you have time, you can look at this while stopping this video. 
But thank you for coming to the lesson today and hope to see you in the next video too. Thank you. Bye.